Righty ho, we made it to the coast. And what's on the coast? Busselton. Cool, which is famous for? Busselton Jetty. Yeah, very long jetty. Very, very long jetty. We'll find out how, how long exactly it is, but that's it over the back of Jude's head there. One of the popular things you can do out here on the, uh, the jetty is to catch the, the train, which goes up and down the old rails that used to be here to cargo the freight. It's a modern train and it's even running, I believe, on solar power. There wasn't much room left on that train. Yeah, it's obviously pretty popular. It's either that or the fact that you walk out such a long way, you're buggered and you can't walk back. Right, the Bustleton Jetty started back in 1864 at a mere 160 metres long. But over the last 150 years, it now is the longest timber pile jetty in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's just over 1.8 kilometres long. Over the, uh, the years, it's had its few setbacks with some cyclones and fire, but it's still going today after lots of efforts from locals with fundraising and some government fundings. It's about to get a big upgrade, so watch this spot. I understand there's a really good looking CAF and function center at the end being built. So here am I at the old Bustleton Cemetery. So let's go and have a look. The cemetery is the final resting place for many of the district pioneers and the earliest recorded burial dating back from 1858. But what's really interesting, the area was designated as a burial ground in 1844 but was not officially proclaimed a cemetery till 1856. It is unique because it's over a hectare and it's on stabilised undulating coastal sand dunes. As you can see in front of me, a lot of these graves are actually unnamed. I was just reading a little bit about George. Now he actually did quite a lot, but one thing he did do, he also built 430 foot, what, 131 metre extension on the Bustleton Jenty in 1875. All right, what a huge day. Drove from Bridgetown to Bustleton. An awesome drive. We, we took the, the slightly longer route, but the more flatter route. And um, it got us here quicker. There's a lot of hills, a lot of windies, and I'm not used to that after doing Northern Territory and the top part of Western Australia, but I suppose I've got to get used to that. Um, so yeah, pretty exhausted by the time we got here, threw the old trailer in and then we quickly whipped over into the uh, tourist side of Bustleton, which was good, but did my head in. It's so busy. It is um, Sunday and it's flat out. There's everybody everywhere and uh... anyway, so we did the Bustleton jetty as you see, and it was amazing. It was good, it was good. So anyway, Jude said after seeing Bustleton jetty and seeing so much seafood, we need to get something nice to eat for tea tonight so she's got some nice um she went to seafood shop 
got some nice uh, salt and pepper um, squid. Got some bit of kiwi in us. We like the old salt, uh, what do you call it, sweet potato. So I've just had that cooking. So a um, little option, we, we, we didn't go the, um, the oven in the Avan. We went an air fryer. We have to lug it in and out, but that's a good thing because it's hot in there. We don't want to heat it up even more with the air fryer. So especially when we're on 240, either with a generator or here at a caravan park, we slap on the old air fryer and we do a little cook up. So it's good. So on this side, yeah, I really should have grabbed something to grab this out because it's going to be hot. So we've got some uh, sweet potato and uh, we've got our um, salt and pepper squid. Jude also grabbed some nice um, prawns that she's been cooking up inside. So they're technically ready. The other thing I should point out too is that while we're here on 240, it's really handy to... Uh, Woohoo! Ice! Ice, baby! We've got a Coogan. Coogan ice machine. Throw that there. Whoops up a, a big bag of ice while we're here. Then I'll just throw it in the uh, freezer out in the back uh, shed and uh, we've got a bit of ice for the next couple of days so it's a handy little hint. So I'm going to whip the uh, chippies out of here and go and put some garlic bread in. So hold it right there. Oh, heaven. Love it. So yeah, put a little garlic bread, throw that in there. I've given, um, I've given the old salt and pepper a little bit of a toss there just to uh, crisp it up a little bit more and we'll start this baby up again that looks good easy peasy you gotta love them air fryers they're great i mean we can even use the air fryer with the inverter for a short amount of time or um whack on the old jenny and uh cook up a storm and then failing that we still got the the barbecue or the little hot plate we need it so yeah so anyway um yeah we're here at uh I'll double check lazy something in Bustleton and uh, it's an older type campsite but beautiful natural trees around I mean check this out I'll see if I walk around you got it's an absolute maze there's so much area to this lazy days campground the pads are great the access isn't too bad the facilities are good and look at look at the space heaps of space so you you can't complain it's good and it wasn't it wasn't too expensive i think it was about 42 dollars at the moment i mean it's obviously off peak or something but um yeah we, we kind of like tossed up between um you know hip camp or uh, a winery or something like that and thought well she's it's only four k's from bustles and jetty from here and um you know it's Boom, oh, we're here, we're parked. But we're only spending just the day and the night here. And then we're, we're legging it to um, hopefully a nice little, like a, it's, it's a big four farm stay type camp um, tomorrow. So, uh, and that's in the Margaret River area. So watch the space. Oh, good morning. And it's a good night's sleep last night. It was good. Lovely, lovely day here in uh, Fossilton. Man, it is busy. It is hot. Sticky. <sighs> Got a couple of little chores to do in um, Bustleton before we leave, but um, yeah, we're going to head down to uh, Margaret River now. So uh, hang on with us uh, for the next leg of our journey, and uh, hopefully, I've uh, got a couple of days down there where we can make it a little bit easier. This has just been a whistle stop through here just to uh, see the see the jetty and a couple of spots that we hadn't seen before, and uh, move on. So catch you down the road, sweet as. Alrighty, oh, Judy and I have made it. Um, we left uh, Bustleton Jetty and uh, headed along the coast a little bit. We made a couple of little detours, a little uh, mistakes. Oh, it's a bit hard. Uh, narrow roads and things come up pretty quick, and you miss that intersection. But fortunately, there's another one down the track. So, yeah, we're at Simo's Ice Cream, which is not far past Vass. Vass? Um, and it, it was on my way to our next caravan park. I could have taken the, the road more travelled, but uh, Jude's brother Steve said, go this way and make sure you go and see Simos. So, this one's for you Steve. I'll have a, uh, an ice cream 
Thank you, mate, for the, uh, well, let's not speak too soon. We'll go ahead and test it out to see whether your tourist advice is uh, worthy. Here we go. Well, my ice cream, I've got licorice and rum and raisin. Look at Dean with his big ears ice cream. Caught a load of that. Um, I think there was a white chocolate, blueberry, and um, burnt caramel, and salted caramel swirl or something. Look about mega load. Mm. Cream, cream meat and oh, Sumo's ice cream, Mary. Wow, that was a feat. I mean, one, code, one cone was enough for me. It was a double dip. Jude got the same. She couldn't eat it. So, I guess we had to finish that off. But uh, no, great little spot. As you can see, really, really busy here. And it's a, a Monday. And uh, there's some um, mini golf you can play there as well. But <clears throat> a really nice spot for the kids. And uh, best ever flavor of ice cream. Anyway, onwards, we'll go find our accommodation. All right, we have, well, we've made this uh, home for a few hours now. It's um, Taunton Holiday Park. It's uh, just out of a uh, little community there. I think it was uh, Metric Up, I think it was. And it's about 16 k's shy of um, Margaret River, which makes it just the perfect little spot to park up here and uh, drop the trailer off and hopefully we'll be able to go and sample some of the goodies. So that'll be tomorrow. Today, poor old Jude, she's stuck in that trailer sorting out all my deep from um, Kalgoorlie to Perth. So when that finally goes to air, please uh, just put a good comment in for her because uh, yeah, she's uh, she's given me a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, got to got to got to show you this. Look at this for a bloody um, wicked little outdoor cooking area. So yeah, you got your, your little stoves, your microwaves, and things over here. Um, a little bit of memorabilia all on the wall and things, but because it's a farm sort of thing, so there's a bit of branding lines. Look at the size of these posts holding this place up, it's huge, all good. There's a beautiful uh, pop alley over in there too. So a uh, good little communal area and um, some great little uh, barbecues. We're, uh, we're nestling in, um, under the tree over there. I'm just staying in here where it's nice and shady, but yeah, we've got a good spot over in the tree there. Huge jumping pillow for the kids. And uh, I'm down in this neck of the woods because currently down here in around about uh, an hour's time, we're going to have some feeding, so uh, looking forward to that. Oh yeah, great little spot. Um, Taunton's, um, it's a big four. Anyway, go and see, it. give Jude a bit of support, how she's going. Well, well it's that time. Feeding time. A bit early for me. Got some fish on the way. But uh, down here at uh, Taunton, big four holiday park. Feeding time for the goats and a camel. How you doing? You're looking adorable. Hey, nice things. Now you're looking. There you go. How popular is this turnout down here at the old uh, the holiday park for feeding the animals? Man, they're loving it. There's pigs, there's goats, there's sheep, there's cows, there's camels. Yeah, there's a good little uh, assortment of animals, and uh, the kids are absolutely loving it. What a what a hoot. We ducked out bright and early, probably a little bit too early. Some of the uh, shops aren't open yet, as far as all the uh, wineries and things go, but 
We walked into Margaret River Town, I think they call it the Margs for short, and uh, caught up with the information centre. They were pretty bloody busy, obviously booking all today's tours and bits and pieces, but hey, the township itself, bustling and bustling, plenty of places to eat and uh, enjoy the, uh, the scenes of uh, the Margaret River area. It's quite hilly actually, and uh, I was here back in about 2007, 2008. The township itself hasn't changed, but man, some of the roads up and around having a big way. Anyway, yeah, we'll just uh, get our facts and um, yeah, tootle on and see what Margaret River's got to offer, eh? All right, there is so many things to do here in Margaret River as far as food, wine, beverages, everything. Honestly, you are spoilt for choice and it's hard to make a choice where to go. So uh, I was making trying to get Jude to hurry up and make a decision on where she wants to go and uh, well, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> she doesn't mind the odd wine but um, ideally she tends to like ports and she likes fruit wines and ciders and things so yeah just trying to find those but anyway I've, I uh, put my hand up and said righty ho first place we're going to go is to the Margaret River Venison so uh, here we are Margaret River Venison. Right, so we're in here at the old venison store and judging by all these antlers, yeah, I think I'm in the right place. Look at that. Stacks. Jude's got a bit of a sample going at the moment. We've got some venison hot salami. Well, for me, of course. She's got the mild salami. Um, managed to pick up some nice uh, kebabs, some nice plum kebabs and macadamia satay. And top it all off, I think you grab one of these uh, venison rumps or down, I'm not too sure. But anyway, see what it looked like on the fry pan. We left our venison shop. Uh, venison factory, Margaret River, and uh, see the judo. We've got some time to kill before we go to the uh, our uh, our lunchtime menu. I said, let's go and do the Margaret River chocolate. Holy moly! She couldn't navigate me here fast enough. I've pulled up the van. You can see how far the van's away behind me there, <laughs> and she's already in the door. <laughs> so yes, she's got a sweet tooth. Love the chocolate. So uh, here we go, somewhere here is an entrance. Holy smokes, looks great. Oh, we made the 650 odd metre trip to the next one where she's got a chance of having a bit of a taste of a nice cure or something, I believe. Let's see what she's got here. Alrighty, we are rocking through it today. Chocolate chick, nougat chick, chocolate liqueur chick, um, cheeky monkey. We're early. We got the first booking, so uh, yeah, forgive if you can sort of see like lots of space in the car park, but it gives me plenty of areas to park, spoil it for choice. There we go. The cheeky monkey and find ourselves a table great little spot good pulling area there for the van 
an awesome looking building. So here we are. Cheeky Monkey Brewery. And we are nice and early. I like this actually, I can now walk around videoing without uh, worrying about bothering anybody. But man, you have got so many seats out here. And down the far end, we've got um, a child's playground and things. You've got stuff you can buy for uh, merchandise. Talk about spoiled for choice out here. Today, we've rocked up and we've got choice pizzas. Alrighty, just moving on from what was an absolute incredible feed. Uh, good pizza. And the beer was nice too. I had uh, just one of the low cal or low, low alcohol beers and uh, went down a treat. But man, this place has got a pump during the weekends because it's such a great venue. Um, as I say, got all the chairs and tables. I kind of like a uh, spot out there by the lake. You'd obviously cook like buggery out there because it's bloody hot and there's no uh, umbrellas. But uh, it's really pretty. Got the some herons or some birds and something there right on a little little makeshift jetty out there. It's cool too. Um, got an outdoor an outdoor bar out here by looks of things too that can serve people. And um, as I mentioned, a terrific little play area here where you can throw your little pikes out here while you enjoy your your beer and your company and have a good old chat. That's a good one down here where you can sit here and watch the kids while you're having your beer and chat. It's good. Great grounds, really nice. We'll go and have a look at, uh, they've got some paraphernalia in here too. Here we go. This is inside. Lovely logo. <laughs> awesome. Oh, copper, good look at this. There we go. Grab yourself a t-shirt while you're at it as well. Get on the cheeky beers. Oh well, that was it from the Cheeky Monkey. Love it. Good place to come visit. Off to the next spot. Jude's waiting for me in the van. I'm always, I'm always the slow coach. She keeps reminding me. <laughs> Anyway, next destination. I think we're going to go back. There was an awesome little spot that looked like a cow village. It was um, all centered around the cows. Looked pretty neat. So we're going to have a look at that. And um, apparently the dairy factory, it's um, only walking distance from our caravan park. So look forward to going and seeing that one too. Catch you soon. Right, you heard it from me first. Look out, Judy's on a mission. We are in a town called Cowarup. And do you know why they call it Cowarup? Well, no. Do you know what they do in Cowarup? They have a toys cows. Okay, so this little town, obviously it's become a world record breaker because back in 2014, they had 1,352 people dressed up as cows and they beat the previous record by 400, uh, a record of 470, which was in Fairfax, USA. Good on them. after the koara bird so they, you, they, you, you don't see them around much anymore but like back when the fet like town was first established you saw the birds everywhere okay cool mm -hmm. So back there, there was a, a little article about a, uh, a cow on a post. Yeah. And it was funnily called uh, roast on a post and amongst a few other things. Uh -huh. And I couldn't see where it was. 
I found it. There it is. How could I miss it? It's on the main road. It's nicknamed roast on a post, and uh, there was another another term it was called as well. <laughs> it's quite unique to all the other cows that are around the place. Oh, free as a cow. In the background there, we've just parked up the motorhome. We're back here at the at the park, and uh, yeah, we just got it all hooked back up again. But uh, we're not leaving till tomorrow, and uh, we're just going to walk through the back of the park here. There's a little uh, a little exit, a little entry into the um, Margaret River Dairy Company, I think they're called. So we're going to go walk these over there, burn off some excess calories. Yes, we are just about ready to go. Bear with me, it's windy, um, which is gonna be a bit sad. Hopefully it doesn't make things too windy uh, down at the coast. It is, I know it is. Um, so bear with us. So we're leaving this uh, fantastic little uh, holiday park slash farm stay at uh, Taunton uh, Big Four. It's just, uh, I guess, north of uh, Margaret River, I think it would be. Yeah, it's about 16 Ks, awesome little spot. Look it up. It's nice and quiet, great facilities, and uh, handy to everything. And um, we've been here for two days. Uh, would love to have been here uh, longer, but honestly, the old bank ballots would uh, really cop it big time here in Margaret River. There is so much to do and uh, so many goodies out there. So uh, be careful. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if we want to keep going around, we need to pull up in here and uh, start moving. So sorry if it's only been a little short uh, snippet of Margaret River and the area but uh, you'll have to come and have a look yourself because it is an amazing little spot. Yep, nice little mecca. So anyway, heading down to the bottom, checking out, I think, uh, Augusta. And then uh, from there, it's, it's, I'm just stumbling a bit in the dark. I have been here uh, a long, long time ago and it was a pretty fleeting visit at that. So um, yeah, just trying to find as much as I can. And um, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll find our way. Yo, just some testing. Oh. We've got all this area, so I can follow. See if we can get it. Are you following me? Over this way? No? Stop following me. You can get it. Maybe once? Yes, okay, cool. Testing, testing, hello. Where are we, Judy? What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. No. To this time. So too short. <laughs> and hard work. Yeah, it is. 